Hello and welcome to MB Tech. My name is Matthew Bingham and today we're going to be talking about the Zabbix monitoring uh, software. Uh, we set up the server uh, the last video and now we're actually going to set up the agent on a, another server, a remote server if you want, or a, a server that's in the same network um, so that we can get the CMD, which usually stands for CPU, memory, and disk uh, information on that system as well as some networking and uh, some other types of graphs and stuff like that that we can pull uh, from that system. Um, so the first thing that we need to do is actually install the RPM on the client and then add a host record on the server itself to communicate to that uh, agent that's running on that server. Um, so the first thing that we are going to do is install the agent. Okay, the line that we need to run is this one right here. It basically is uh, setting up the Zabbix release 5.0 uh, RPM or repo on this actual client. Uh, the name of my client is the MB1 PRC INF client 014. This is a uh, standard CentOS 7 box. Uh, so we need to install that. Okay, now that that's actually installed, all we need to do now is run the yum install. Zavix agent. Yes to that. Next, we need to edit the Etsy Zavix Zavix agent D dot comp file. And we need to make sure that we have two things changed here. One is the server IP address. And you want to make that the IP address of your server, whatever that may be. And the next is the host name. We need to make sure that this host name is the same one that we use when we set up the uh, client on the server itself. So we've got those two in there, so we should be good that way. Minimize this. Um, let me log out of this so you can see where I, I went for this. Remember, it is case sensitive. So you here you go to host, configuration, I'm sorry, it's configuration, host, and then you say create host. This is where we create the host. And the host name is the name that we put into that file. group uh, there is no group for this but this is going to be a uh, client so we'll say uh, or well it's a, it's a server group so it's a uh, Linux uh, home servers click new this is important uh, we are using an agent, so we need to put the IP address of the agent, which is 10.14.1. Whatever our IP address of our client is. And it's 217. And the port that's going to be listed on to is 1050. Monitor proxy, no proxy, and click add. Okay, once that's there, it is currently um, not really configured for graphs and triggers and all other types of stuff like that. But what we'll be doing is we'll be setting up some templates on this uh, so that you'll be able to pull that information and actually see uh, some of that information on these systems. Um, one thing I am going to do is go to my client here real quick. Clear it. Uh, let's see, Zavix agent service VAVVIX. It's loaded and inactive. 
Um, so we want to start that. And then we also want to enable I'm actually going to do a system control, I'm sorry. Okay, so that way it starts on reboot. Clear that. Status, we can now see that the agent is running. If we go over here and we refresh, uh, go to host, clients, go to templates, and then here we're going to do some templates. So we're going to do Linux. Let's see if we have anything in Linux. Um, they've got a template OS Linux by Zabbix agent. So, I mean, that looks pretty good to me. So we'll do that. Click update. So now we see that we've got uh, this template that's got the uh, different modules uh, that it'll pull in. Uh, there's application items, triggers, graphs, discovery, um, all sorts of uh, good stuff that we can get from that. Okay, we can see that we do have ping, which is a good sign. And let's see if we get some of the other stuff. All right, some of the other stuff is starting to come in now. All uh, we can do there is look at the latest data. When you look at the latest data, then we can get that some of that information in here. So this is starting to look better. Um, if we go back to the host, uh, we can see that now the availability is switched to Zabbix. That means you're actually using the agent or if you're using SMP or I think JSON or IPMI. Uh, so all this is slowly coming into the system. Uh, if we go to graphs, you can see some of the graphs here. Here's processes, CPU jump, system load, CPU utilization, CPU usage, there's swap, disk utilization. So, I mean, you get quite a bit right out of the box. Um, I'm going to let this run uh, for a little bit, and then uh, I will take another uh, shot of it after a uh, couple of minutes here so that we can see, um, you know, how much it's moved or how, how it looks in general. Okay, we're looking at the graphs after approximately 15 minutes. Um, as you can see, there has been some changes. Uh, load has gone down. Um, CPU utilization is about, <laughs> about the same, um, and uh, disk utilization in queue has changed a little bit. Um, memory, it's showing how much we're using in memory. Uh, so it has the C, M, and D, as I mentioned, CPU, memory, and disk uh, space available on there. Uh, this completes this video. Um, I'll be adding a lot more to this Zabbix one. So we'll, we'll go over maps. Um, I'll show you real quick maps right now. We just have the one box. Um, we can add our box to this one. Uh, I also want to show uh, switches being monitored and then actually how you can set up a uh, map with two switches and uh, what happens like if the link goes down it'll turn to red. Um, it'll also show you like the bandwidth between uh, in and out uh, on that port between the uh, uh, two switches. So I'll get that information there as well. I hope you enjoyed this and please subscribe and we'll see you soon.